You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities, and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Yo, 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 what is up, guys? Welcome to another incredible episode of Vigilantes Radio Live right here on iHeart Radio. And I'm your host, Dini. We have another special guest for you guys, so you definitely want to stick around for that. And as a matter of fact, text your buddies, family members, or even share it on social media right now. And let them know that we are about to dive deep into another interview. Guys, I am so excited to be back with you guys. I was just on the road with Busy Bone from Bone Thugs and Harmony. We did uh, Fuel Fest in Dallas with the Fast and Furious cast, um, uh, Tyrese, Cody Walker, people like that. So, yeah, we rocked it out, Dallas. Fuel Fest 2024, huge event, and uh, just honored to do that. Anyway, um, before I bring my guest on, one of the most valuable things you can have is the ability and the desire to truly understand others. That's because we live in a world where no two people have exactly the same perspective. We are all unique individuals. That fact can lead to extreme frustration or it can lead to magnificent achievement depending on your level of understanding. Have you ever wasted a lot of time and energy being angry and resentful only to eventually discover that it was all due to a misunderstanding you know <laughs> you ever been mad and then just like oh yeah there's no reason to be mad you know your forehead is sweaty from anger you can boil an egg up there you're so mad <laughs> but it's like egg on your face because it was for no reason or a misunderstanding has anyone ever been angry with you simply because they did not understand what you were doing or why you were or why you were doing it? It takes effort and humility to practice true and genuine understanding. Often it can seem easier to just get angry and lash out, but you know, that rarely accomplish anything of value. Imagine how much more value you could create and enjoy if you made the effort to better understand the people around you. Imagine what would happen if some of your anger and frustration could be replaced by cooperation and effectiveness. Every day there are possibilities and opportunities for you to become more understanding and to help others better understand you. Make use of those opportunities. Seek to promote understanding. Your life and your world will benefit greatly. Take that from me, Coach Dini. That is my word. Let's go. Access, a minority-run nonprofit organization dedicated to supporting survivors of domestic violence and sexual abuse. Our prevention division educates the public on healthy relationships, consent, and boundaries, while our recovery division provides support and resources after trauma. We offer workshops and coaching to individuals worldwide, helping them navigate complex issues and reclaim their power. We believe in the power of education and conversation. Our interdisciplinary approach challenges societal norms and empowers individuals to live authentically and purposefully. With the guidance of our accredited coaches, you can overcome obstacles, achieve your goals, and create the future you desire. Don't wait to take control of your life and your sexuality. Visit our website, SexSorg, to learn more about our services and how you can get involved. All right, all right. Again, welcome to the show. You're listening to VRL. That's Vigilantes Radio Live right here on iHeart Radio, and I'm your host, Dini. Our interviews are designed to go behind the music, uh, 
behind the art, films, acting, technology, education, entrepreneurship, and sometimes even a thing that we call the ego. Our interviews are designed to go behind the scenes and into the minds of these incredible human beings. You know, the ones who are out there giving it their all for me, for you, and for the world. Well, welcome everyone to an electrifying episode with San Diego's own hip-hop and R&B prodigy, Little Nico. At just 17 years old, Nico has already made waves in the music industry, crafting beats and lyrics that resonate with fans around the world. And today he, he's here to talk about his latest single, Do Better, his creative process, and how he plans to leave a lasting impact on the music world. So get ready to dive into the mind of a young artist who is determined to be one of the greats bringing back the good vibes and spreading love through his music and with that let's welcome nico to the show yo 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 what is up welcome yo man what's going on how you doing i'm doing good man how are you pretty good man excited to be on here appreciate you for having me you know yes sir yes sir so man little nico it's great to have you here um can you share what sparked your interest in music man to be honest, I'd have to say it'd be my mom and my brother. Cause like growing up, they would always be bumping music, you know, like Pop, Biggie, Lil Wayne, 50 Cent, et cetera. You know, like a bunch of the great artists that we listen to today still. Mm -hmm. And I'd, I'd have to say, honestly, that that's probably what like sparked it, to be honest. Man, those are all great artists too. So when did you begin to develop the love for like crafting music on your own? That's a good question. I'd probably have to say around like nine years old. Cause uh, around that time, I'm, uh, my mom and pops had uh, put the money together to help me get like a little uh, home studio. And um, just ever since then, I've just been recording out the pad um, and just built up the love from there, you know, like, it just, it just, it just stuck with me. Absolutely, man. Uh, so, who, like, who were some of your influences that you know kind of helped you find your voice in music? I'm a, uh, I'm uh, definitely have to say number one would be Lil Wayne. I definitely grew up like listening to a whole lot of Lil Wayne. Anybody that knows me for real knows that I could like probably sing like the whole lyrics of like any <laughs> one of his songs you know what I mean like yeah that he definitely would be number one um Pac as well I love like the message he would try to put out you know like the love he would try to he would get back to the community the real the real stuff he would be talking about you know yep That's and um uh, a lot of R&B artists too like um uh, early 90s early 2000s kind of kind of influenced me i love listening to that though don't get me wrong you know what i mean love love me some more and b so which came first for you r&b or hip-hop i'd have to say hip-hop because before i started messing around trying to sing here and there and getting like really in tune with my own vocals i was definitely rapping a lot more you know uh it wasn't no like it was it was a no heat, you know what I mean? It was, it was like some some middle school raps, right? But um, over time, I definitely uh, built my own sound. I want to say it sounds really unique, in my opinion. Others have told me the same, um, and just I just built a real like genuine love for music, you know. Nice, nice. So Nico, in life and in music, um, what do you think is truly fighting for? I'm sorry, I said that one with time. So what do you think is truly worth fighting for? I feel like in life and music, like something that's really truly worth fighting for is your own happiness and, and love. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. a that's a real big part in like people's development. I feel like um you gotta have a lot of like self-confidence in yourself you know you gotta you gotta be comfortable in your own skin you know you gotta love yourself before you could love one another and i feel like through music that's a real good way to push that message you know everybody everybody loves listening to music i mean there are people who don't like music too but like let's be real now come on 
Come mm. on now. Yeah. But yeah, that'd probably probably be uh in my opinion the best thing worth fighting for would be like your own self love and your own happiness, you know. Was it hard for you to find happiness? Or to define Honestly, what that means? No. For you? If I'm being honest, I I feel like it really wasn't um just one, once I once I started like really getting into this music and started finding like my place or my sound or just this stuff just when I like really figured out that this is what it is that I want to do because of the love that I have for it that's like what really like triggered it you know what I mean mm -hmm. absolutely so we're going to talk about the track do better um, this is a song that we're playing later on uh, when you're creating a track like do better what's your process like um well in that case of that song because it was like more of a like a little r&b a little slower you know i did definitely want to try to bring bring back some because you know there's a lot of like different kinds of r&b going on right now they, they, there's a lot of different kind of genres of music actually being explored you know so i kind of wanted to bring back a little bit like back in the 2016 era little you know a little bit before that um my process behind that really was just like just whatever i was feeling i heard that beat and i was just like i was just in the studio i was like man i gotta kill it and i just whatever i was feeling like felt which i guess was like in a, in a way you could see like say like a toxic way um feeling a little toxic at the time maybe a little heartbroken or a little sad you know what i mean uh, just the different emotions that just built up to that just led me to just write down this this is actually one of the songs i don't write too many songs um but this is actually a song that i i took time and wrote the lyrics to went back edited it and all that what do you mean this is like one of the first songs you, you've written in a while not you, first but like um it's one of the songs because i don't i don't usually write I, I i'm normally like a off the top kind of person i i, I think your first thoughts are always your best mm. you know so yeah. i don't like to i don't like to think too much about stuff because when you like when you overthink about things it's it, it's just gonna fall fall down you know like i like to just at least with music I like if I if I'm feeling it, however it makes me feel, whatever comes in my head, just lay it down, you know. I got you. So, what normally comes first for you, the music or the structure of the song, like you know, the hook or maybe uh, a few lines, few cadences? Um, that's a good question. I'd probably have to say like how I come at it like cadence wise um when I load up a beat and I get my my uh, vocals to sound how I want them a little pre-mix um I just do it I kind of like hum kind of you know or I'm, I'm just spitting a bunch of like random stuff that don't don't make sense but it's in my mind how I'm thinking about how I'd come at it and then once I find a way that I that I think would sound good then I go back replace those with actual lyrics add on ad libs different uh tracks to it as well and then just complete the track after after a little rough mix with it so i think you mentioned prioritizing yourself and do better um can you explain how personal experiences influence the messages in your music yeah so like it's it's just it's not the mess it's not like necessarily with like one person it's it's just with like everybody in general it's just like you you know your value right you know how much you're worth so you can't let nobody take that from you you know you know that you're number one you know that can't nobody stop you nobody's better so push that you know you know can't nobody do better that's that's kind of where I got from that, you know. 
Yeah. Was there ever a time that you didn't feel like number one? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. I mean, I feel I, I feel like with every artist, right? They have like a dry season where their their views go down a little bit. But um, I I didn't let ever let that stop me, man. I, I in my mind, I always knew I'm gonna keep going no matter what happens. But I always, I always knew I was gonna be number one, no matter the cost or things that it takes to get there. You know? Yeah. All right, all right. We're we are about to jump into your song, "Do Better," and then we'll be right back with more little Nico. Stay tuned. Yeah, up. Me crazy, I swear. Who oh, know we do the same shit? Girl, let's just keep on blazing. You, you want for entertaining? This is my own money, babe. I just gotta get my money right. Smoking good, good, something for that. About to cut up another wood. Got me feeling just like a lumberjack. Girl, you got me fascinated. I can't let you go. Let This a reminder. Try too hard and you never gon' find it. So for round, I ain't never complain. Like it's only I, I trust. Like I get around if we talkin' that. Girl, let's talk about it. Girl, let's talk about it. A million on me, I can't walk around without it. She like the way that I'm stylin'. I'm tryna put my trust inside of your love, but you let that shit fall in the wrong hands. Yeah, I want it all this to me, baby. This how I gotta be. This right here, God's plan. Too late to try figure it out. It's too late to try figure it out. Oh, girl, I can tell. chasing after success and not achieving your goals. Success is possible. You just need the right help, the right guidance, and the right mentors. And that's what you will find on the podcast, Stop Chasing and Start Listening, hosted by real estate investor and business owner, Jason Chrisman. Jason has a lineup of incredible guests who cover the world of real estate investing, entrepreneurship, and business strategies. You'll learn from the best on how to elevate your game. Guests include Richard Taylor. He's a 
30-year-old powerhouse who's raking in $60,000 a month. That's right. He'll share his secrets to success and teach you how to unlock your potential. Leslie joins the program. Once, she was a pharmacist. Now, she's a digital marketing millionaire. You'll learn how she transformed her career and built her empire from the ground up. And don't miss out on the incredible story of a firefighter turned self-made landlord. With 53 properties under his belt, he's living proof that dreams do come true with hard work and determination. Each episode of Stop Chasing and Start Listening is filled with valuable insights, practical tips, and inspiring stories that will help you reach your goals. Add Stop Chasing and Start Listening to your podcast playlist right now on Spotify, Apple Podcast, and your favorite podcast platform. Stop Chasing and Start Listening with host Jason Chrisman. Start listening right now and take that first step to living the life that you and your family deserve. All right, all right. Welcome back again. That was little Nico with his song, Do Better. Incredible, incredible. Let's go ahead and invite him back. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back. Yo, yo, yo. What's bro. going on? Yes, sir. So, man, uh, I know you mentioned earlier that there are ups and downs in the industry from, like, you know, views, things like that, that comes along with just so many people being involved in the industry and doing the same thing well not doing the same thing but just being a saturated market um what are some challenges that you faced in your career and how have how have you overcome them um honestly some challenges i would say some of the biggest challenges would would be myself you know like i feel like your biggest your biggest or like your hardest enemy is your own mind right and you know at first when i first started making music back in middle school it wasn't like to the quality it is now so i wasn't as like confident in my music at the time but definitely over time as i kept kept going strong with my music just kept putting stuff out there working on my own craft i definitely built up a a big confidence some may say I'm, I'm real conceited when it comes to my music but yeah that's probably definitely one of the biggest uh challenges i've overcame with this music absolutely would you say consistency is a part of that yeah definitely that too yeah honestly i <laughs> that's something I, i've been trying to work on a lot recently um i've been trying to stay a lot more consistent especially after this drop uh, I'm trying to do as much promotion as uh, possible with the team working behind, you know, shout, uh, shout out Starlight representatives for helping out this. Shout out you guys too, Vigilante Radio, you know, wouldn't it be possible without you guys. Um, but yeah, definitely consistency is definitely one of the things that uh, I had to overcome. Still am trying to, you know, uh, but yeah. Man, if you could give some advice to a, a younger artist who's looking to do the same thing you do and even, you know, wrestle with consistency I think I wrestle with consistency um, right. do you have any advice for any anybody who, who wrestles with that um, I would say man just just keep working on on you your craft you know just every day anytime you got time just put all your time and effort into it if it's something you really love you know um, don't ever give up don't ever listen to any negative things anybody push your way I, like I tell everybody, this is your world. Everybody just living in it, you know. Make make what you do, make best of your situation. Absolutely, absolutely, man. Um, so, what do you hope people feel or think when in they listen to your music? Uh, I, I hope people just just vibe with it. You know, I want people to listen to my music and have a good time be able to vibe, you know, dance with it along, um, and just, just appreciate, you know, just have a, have a good time listening to my music, just in, enjoy, enjoy life, you know, Absolutely. bring a good sensation to people's minds. Where can our listeners connect with you online? Online? Um, I'm on Instagram. That's my main, like, social media platform, uh, could follow me at Lil Nico at official Lil Nico, all lowercase. Um, I'm also on Twitter. I don't really be posting on Twitter, um, but that's uh, at Lil Nico six one nine capital L capital N. Um, 
Also on YouTube, I've been I dropped a I just dropped a video to this track Do Better. It got uh it's currently at like 10k I think. Just released it last week, so it's doing doing pretty good for itself. Not gonna lie. Um, but yeah. Right. Also, uh, I'm on all all platforms, man. All platforms. Any any major streaming platforms, you know. Catch me on there too. At Lil Nico, all all streaming platforms. All right, all right. And listeners, just in case you didn't get those links, no worries. I will have them in the uh, show notes and in the uh, description of this episode. So all you guys have to do is just click the links. Well, Lil Nico, thank you so much. Thank you for sharing your insights and your story with us today, your passion for music and commitment to spread and posi- uh, positivity is truly commendable. We can't wait to see where your talent and drive takes you next, and we'll definitely keep an eye on your upcoming releases. To our listeners, make sure to follow Lil Nico on all platforms to catch all of his latest tracks and updates. Thank you guys for tuning in, and keep chasing your dreams, spreading the love just like Nico. And until next time, keep your playlists fresh and your aspirations high. Yeah, Lil Nico, oh, y'all have a good one. Appreciate y'all for having me. Hey, what's up, long time? I forgot to mention that. Oh, by the way, this is Dini, you know, Vigilantes Radio Live, uh, VP of Operations for Busy Bone from Bone Thugs and Harmony, blah, blah, blah. Anyhow, Only One Theory dropped a new single. It is called La Hefecita. It's on Spotify. As a matter of fact, it's on all major platforms you should check it out right now oh and by the way there's also a visual on youtube it's hot check it out today only one theory.com check that out too peace Thank you, my Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio Live. All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab it from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, Spotify, CastBox, iHeart Radio, iTunes, YouTube, the app Podcast Addict, or over at our website which again is only one media group.com and that goes for every single show that we've ever aired if you like to request some music or send something for me to play email it to v radio at only one media group.com that is v as in victor and here's my disclaimer we are genre free we do not judge and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay but facts alone and actually scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right that's the bottom line this is my show so deal with it (laughs) just kidding on behalf of myself denny i appreciate all you guys for tuning in either afterwards or live with us spread the word because sharing is caring we stepped up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure that you have the best experience here on our show be sure to connect with me on facebook twitter instagram tumblr snapchat tiktok at all social media sites as well as spreaker youtube we always follow back okay well just remember to put yourself into everything that you do and never stop investing in yourself peace love grilled cheese and talk with you later You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds of the duo No Longer The Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a 7th Sign Regime Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate Exclusive.
What's up, guys? It's Dini, and I want to welcome you on a journey of the heart and of the mind. These Fucking Feelings podcast is a beacon in the world of mental health advocacy, and it invites you to join a conversation that's changing lives. We are here to share, listen, and grow together. Led by the passionate Micah Bravery, alongside the insightful Rebecca and Crystal, this award-winning podcast dives deep into the human experience, from navigating relationships to coping with loss. No topic is off limits. It's about real stories and real emotions. These fucking feelings, it's more than just a show. It's a community, a place where vulnerable isn't just accepted, it's celebrated. You can find it across major platforms, including YouTube and Facebook Watch. This podcast is a touchstone for anyone seeking understanding and support. These fucking feelings podcast, where every emotion is valid and every story matters. Tune in and transform the way you see mental health.